People migrate. This is a fact. People move from place to place, trying to find the perfect place to live their lives. But moving takes a lot of work. And first you have to pack everything, selling the house, drive to the airport, waiting in line after line after line in the airport. Oh my god, this takes forever. Oh my god, this guy has a bomb in his shoe. Wait, oh my god, is this real? Oh, oh, yeah, never mind. It, it, it's just a battery-powered shoe. Oh, come on! Get into the plane. In this case, it's a helicopter. Fly to your destination. Get out of the plane. And figure out where this place even is located at. Ah, we're at my house, and... This is not my house. At least I think it's not. Oh, please don't tell me I bought a mountain. And once you get to your house, you have to unpack everything. I mean, like, geez, that takes forever. But why would someone do this? Why would they go through all this work to just live in a new house? Well, there's always a reason. Even sometimes when it seems pointless. It's not. Let's check out some of these reasons now. Meet Bob and Jeff. Both Bob and Jeff have decently sized homes, and they both have jobs. There's only one difference between the two. Bob lives in a nice home along the beach, and Jeff lives on the middle of a mountain. With gangs that are trying to kill him. Sadly, right after that, Bob lost his job. But, luckily for him, he got a call from a different company and said that he could get a job there. But, unconveniently, it's in a different state. That means he's going to have to move. What should he do? There's actually a phrase when someone has a situation like this. For Jeff, it would be push factor. It's basically like, well, this place is better than this place. Because, I don't know, my house is on a mountain filled with gangs. I'd rather live on the beach. So that's what push factor is. But for Bob, it is called pull factor. Because an outside force, a.k.a. His new, not, his new job, is trying to get him to come over to wherever the job is and move there. Now, let's stop with these non-real... You know, not these these non-real um, examples. How if we look at some other examples? Like, take the Mexicans, for example. In 2010, there are approximately 31.8 million Mexicans in the United States. Now, the thing about cultures moving into new areas is that they will transfer their culture into our culture. With this, for example, tacos would not be such a big thing in America. Would you imagine not having tacos? What would Taco John sell? Like, seriously. Hello, welcome to Taco John's. We sell all your hamburger needs. Wait, what? Would you like a jumbo burger for eight fifty, sir? I want a taco, not burgers. Why would you sell, tell, call yourself Taco John's if you don't sell tacos? <sighs> okay, listen. I work minimum wage, so I really don't care about these kind of things, okay? So, listen, I'll tell you what. The best I can do is I'll make you a taco burger. Is that fine? Uh, okay. What's a taco burger? Um, you'll see when you try it, okay? Uh, I will get that right out to you, sir. <sighs> okay, but if this is a burger, I don't know what I'm going to do. Here's your taco burger, sir. What is that? It's your taco burger. It's what you asked for. This is not a taco burger. It's not even, it's nothing like a taco. Oh my goodness. What it is, is it's a hot dog bun with a burger inside with everything on it. Oh my goodness. Fine. But that's how they told us to make these. 
You're still going to have to pay for it. I don't care. I'm not eating it. Sir, you're going to have to pay. <sighs> Fine. But the internet shall hear about this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, taco burger. <sighs> Kidding me. <sighs> That's it. They're going to hear. This isn't the end of this. I'm going to go show them what I like to call some sweet revenge. Did this and post time for the next step migration this is social migration now this step migration is where a person wants a better way of life or wants to be closer to friends or family a very type popular type of this type of migration is how we are here today go ahead take a guess that's right it is when we take we took a boat called the Mayflower to go find new land, which was obviously America. Yar, there's land! Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes! Oh my god, it is! I'll go tell the driver to stop immediately! It's time to build a land where there are no taxes, and anyone can do whatever they want. And, well, that didn't go over very well with the King of England. He decided that, you know what, we're going to tax them anyways, and started taxing us over here. But, the United States people did not like that, and that's what resulted in the Revolutionary War. It was intense, to say the least. Carrying on to another type of migration, potential migration. This type of migration is unlike the rest, because it's actually kind of sad. This is when a war breaks out in a person's home country and they basically are forced into moving. Our example today is the Native Americans. These people had a way of life that was really thought out and one and and a very thought out one at that. But then as Americans came around and forced all of them to move into reservations, some ways bloodier than others. And it turned out not into a really, really bad time in our history. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I was just given orders by George Washington to um, ask you to leave your house so we can build here. Don't worry, though. We will get you a new house. Is that okay? Wait, what? Yeah, I know. It's kind of surprising. Um, basically, your tribe has made a deal with our government that you will give us land in order for us to build, and we will give you supplies. So, yeah, you're going to have to follow me so we can bring you to your reservation. What if I don't want to go? Then, um, well, then we're going to have to destroy the village with you inside of it. Yeah. Find a straw face with tightly closed eyes. So, this is your new home. How do you like it? This is stupid. Why do I need to live in a mountain? It's not my idea, buddy. It's George Washington's, okay? I'm just following order. I want to live in my old home. Sorry, but you can't do that. I don't care I am leaving. Uh, you can't do that. The guards will stop you immediately. Find that pensive face. The final type of migration that we're going to talk about today is environmental f m migration. Basically what this is, is it's natural disasters. You know, like tornadoes, tsunamis, and the Irish potato famine, because all those things are like the others. I should probably go check and see if the potatoes are ready. Hey, uh, oh my god. What happened to all the potatoes? Bobby, we need to leave. If we don't, we will starve to death. What do you mean? I mean, we have other food than just potatoes, right? Actually, no. Mostly all we eat are potatoes. Uh, actually, you're right. <laughs> I can't really think of a time that we don't really eat potatoes with something else. You're, you're right. We need, need to go. But where do we go? To America. Oh, to America. I, I heard they, they're a pretty nice place. 
Come on, we should go. Hey, are you coming? I thought you said we need to leave. Like, fast. The USDAP and ISOMB LKFC just died to 98 PJV. DK, VKFC, and VKLG are your PHG, PG, or VHOP, SSD, and VKTL, and V, FC, and VKFO, DNG, or PUEIS, and GOE, and GIO, Grower, and I, Pona, Bi, and Pona, I, Gio, Boing, Gong, Gio, Pagot, Mia, P, Mani, O, Pathy, with Wari, O, Sikif, Gia, Spia, Pash, Pits, Odes, of Jeff, Sigia, R5, Y, U, E, A, H, G, V, Q, U, E, I, P, F, J, V, A, O, N, S, M, D, F, E, O, D, I, S, C, X, N, B, P, O, S, S, D, H, G, H, R, A, Y, T, P, 9, H, G, V, O, U, S, H, F, V, U, O, F, C, N, X, F, L, X, C, N, V, C, L, S, K, N, G, O, U, R, E, H, Y, N, W, O, U, G, R, N, Goes, Yan. N G L K S D A N G U A I R E H V T G N O P I C K X T nine O six U T H K B V C V T K B D M seventy six eighty nine O P U T 